Alright guys, welcome back. Continuing with this video series, uh, dealing with this flight controller where I do a review on it. I did this build. I will now show you how to bind it. In the next video, we'll be setting everything up in Betaflight. If you haven't been following along with the video series, then look in the description below where you will find those other videos as well as all the parts that I've used for this build. So this fly controller comes in three different models. You've got the Fly Sky, Free Sky, and Spectrum. I'll be covering two of the three, Fly Sky and Free Sky. You Spectrum guys, I'm sorry, I don't have a Spectrum transmitter. So, uh, but hopefully you can still watch this and this will still help you out. So up first, let's cover Fly Sky. I actually don't have a Fly Sky transmitter either, but I do have the Turn G Evolution. If you don't already know, the Evolution uses the same protocol as the FlySky transmitters and receivers. That's why it works. So we want to click on this little settings icon, go to RX bind, and now it's binding to RX. You may have noticed a little button on here, and this is actually not a boot button like on most fly controllers. This is how you bind the receiver. So I will hold this button down and then apply power to it. You can either use a battery or the USB cable. It works either way. Once I have uh, power going to it, I will now turn off the Turn G Evolution. And then I will remove power. It should now be bound, so I'm going to power back on my Evolution. Plug in a USB cable. Now let's go into Betaflight. Make sure that you have this set to uh, PPM, and this goes for all three models Fly Sky, Free Sky, and Spectrum. Then go to Receiver. If you move your joysticks around, Roll Pitch Yaw and Throttle Shell all be moving on your screen. If you have created any switches, you can test those out now. And you Fly Sky guys are now done. For you Free Sky guys, turn on your Tyrannus. Hey JC, welcome back. Go to Menu, uh, pick whichever model you want, and then you can scroll down or up, doesn't matter. Make sure your mode is set to D8 mode, channels 1 to 8, and then click the Bind button. It's going to uh, keep chirping. Just like that. Just let it keep chirping and it's going to be the same thing. Hold down that button, apply power to it, and then it should be bound. Just like I showed you with the Evolution, you would want to plug in a USB cable, go to uh, configuration, make sure you have it set to PPM, and then go to the receiver tab and verify that it has been bound and everything's working. In you Spectrum guys, I'm sorry, uh, you're out of luck, but hopefully uh, this helps you out. But like I said, look in the description below if you want to see the, uh, my build video for this, as well as the next video on how to set it up in Betaflight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.